I doing, Jeremy? I'm on a basic equipment set. Uh, kind of like the ones you guys have been doing. Heater, pump, filter. So I'm going to set that up in this area, but I'm pulling wire. And I have the panel apart. And I wanted to show you what's going on. So I have lights, power to my pump and heater, which I use EMT. Because it straps real nice and everything goes on. So anyway, I wanted to show you this, all right? give you a general on what's going on uh, this is my third time taking it so I'm not gonna get all fancy with it I'm trying to put enough room so you can see everything okay double 20 uh, each breaker this is 110 this is 220 220 is linked everything's run off of 110 and I'm showing you that because of your relays so on your relays if you look it says 2468 2468 Power two is power in, four is power out. Six is power in, eight is power out. So the reason I'm showing you that is 220. So this is for your filter pump. Power goes in, power goes in. These, this one right here, power out, power out. Now the power outs already ran. I'm just gonna leave it in that box that was over there. So one of the other things is, is once you have, it has to be a 20 amp breaker. They take 16 amps to run, to start up. So it has to be a 20 breaker, it can't be a 15. This is for your salt system. Now there's, if you look back here, there's three different sets of wire. Two are plugged together. Don't worry about that one. That one's the way it should be. There's one longer than the other one. Longer one is made to fit, to go on power out. The same one that you put the power for the pump it clips in here and I'm gonna I'll clip it in later the other one clips in on power out four and eight is power out so and also I do my relays different we do relay one two three four in a u-shaped now your guy had a link to another one okay that's just using an extra relay that they don't need to use um, one was for your heater and one was for your pump filter or your filter pump but what we do is and it shows this if, if they ever read it um, your power is supposed to be directly connected now this power as you can see is still on the reel to uh, the blue and the red and it's directly straight into your breaker now that means your heater is going to be hot all the time it's always going to be on and that's fine that's how it's supposed to be what controls everything is this 10 pin right here okay this is called a 10 pin obviously you can count to 10 so you know why it's called a 10 pin not only that but if you can take these off these let me show you real quick this does not this is just a, a deal anyway that's why it's called a 10 pin so this back on. Um, the other part I wanted to show you is this, okay? Now, I know you're not going to be doing all this, but you need to know what you're looking at when you have, you know, uh, uh, other guys coming in to do stuff. What he probably did was he ran it on this four pin. Now, there's a four pin in the heater, okay? We don't use a four pin in the heater. What we use is this 10 pin. Um, the four pin is supposed to be communication. Now, you run it for your pump, uh, you run it for your your um, handheld transmitter uh, you run it for everything else but the heater used to have issues when they first came out with the JXI even the LXI the older version that they used to have um, on the bottom of this 10 pin it tells you okay LVH 10 pin 1 and 2 is for low voltage heater so you only need two wires to run that heater and what it does is it sends a circuit from the heater two one and then when you turn want the heater to turn on the panel just flips the switch which gives power back to heater number two which turn, tells the heater to turn on so the main power going to the heater will supply the power to number one then all it does is it it lets it know that it's time to turn on and it lets the power run from one to two and turns the heater on that's called a fireman switch so 
the heater, once I get it programmed, I'll show you everything else. But the rest of the 10 pin, LVH is your heater. Solar, I wouldn't worry about. That's a temperature sensor for the solar. Um, you guys probably haven't ran solar. You're not going to anytime soon. Uh, 10 pins, five and six is for your water temp sensor. Seven and eight is for freezing air. Nine and 10 is spare, and we never use them ever. So also, if you guys forget or something's not turning on right, check your, your four pins. Your four pins tell you on the bottom. You know, it goes right to left is one, two, three, four. But I always tell myself, red, black, yellow, green, red, black, yellow, green, one, two, three, four. So, and like I said, it's a salt system just like your guys is. Nothing special. Well, I mean, it is special. It's got a heater and a salt system, but so um, make sure that you connect your main, the main power gets connected right to the breaker because then your fireman switch won't work right if that doesn't happen. Um, other than that, we have, now on your last panel, you only had one, one single 20. Now what they did, and I noticed in the video, is one single 20. So just the GFI was hooked up. You guys had a GFI plug on the side right here, right? Well, the GFI plug and then this black wire was ran in the power side right with this one. Now, you shouldn't... I don't like doing that. Now, I'm not saying it takes a lot for this panel to run. It probably takes like one or two amps, something stupid. But the reason I don't do that is because if something ever happens to this plug or this breaker, for some reason it gets turned off, you won't be able to use your PDA because it'll be off as well. So all they're doing is they're trying to save money by using one breaker instead of two. And the reason we use the GFIs is because it's the same price as using a GFI protected breaker. Now you can do that, less wires, less hassle, but it costs the same to put this plug in. And this plug is just an added bonus for your homeowners. Uh, it's just strictly, not only that, but if we're doing work over here, like I'm, a, I'm about to hook up this power live, so now I'll be able to use this plug for anything I need over here. Uh, I don't have to use the homeowner's plugs that sometimes they trip and it's a pain in the ass. So I don't have to use that. I can use our plug. I know how to flip the breaker. I know which one's which. I've already labeled the panel. Ready to go. But um, I would recommend doing it this way. Uh, and like I've been explaining the different reasons on why for everything. Um, heater. That's the biggest thing that I can tell. Make sure it's just hooked up right away. Um, other than that, when I get to my equipment set, I will take a video of the equipment set and the heater so that you guys can see that as well. If you have any questions or you want me to focus on something else instead of the whole panel at one time, let me know.